girl. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. And welcome back to another weekly vlog. Give you guys a virtual hug. <laughs> But done for the day, you guys. Done filming for the day. I did a empties video. Now I can finally throw this stuff away. <laughs> um, and I also filmed, I was able to film two other videos. So I'm happy about that. But yes, how are y'all doing? How was your weekend? How was your week? Let me know down below in the comments, girl. But let me show you what I just got at the door. Um, and I did order this. Let me throw this away. I'll be back. I'm back. We got a Skims a OTD. <laughs> I have on the lounge shorts, the tank, and then the black um, robe. So that's what I'm lounging around in today. But let me show you what I ordered from Nordstrom. I have been wanting a perfume from this brand, this specific brand, for a very, very long time now. And I treated myself. So that is what I did. And let me just say, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the things that I be treating myself with, I would not be able to do it if it wasn't for you guys. Like, for real, for real. <laughs> Y'all are the main reason why I'm able to do what I do. Um, but, <gasps> I'm excited. Girl, this better smell good. This better smell good. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? I don't even know if I'm gonna pronounce it right, but the brand is Byredo. Byredo? Byredo? Did I say it right? I probably did not, but guess which one I got. Did it say it on here? It didn't say the scent right there. Guess which one, y'all? Take a while, guess. Guess down below in the comments. Pause the video and guess. I did not know which one I wanted because I was watching so many reviews. Like, when I say I've been watching reviews since last year or the year before, because I've been seeing this for a long time and I just couldn't get myself to pay for one of these perfumes. But after watching so many reviews, um, what really sealed the deal was when Aaliyah's face talked about this scent not in her last vlog or the vlog before that one I think honestly and truly I think it was probably on her stories no it was in a vlog I remember it was in a vlog but not in her last her recent vlog it was the vlog before that but that's what sealed the deal on this scent right here because I was going back and forth with this one or another one um that I'm actually probably going to go ahead and order because um, I was asking Jasmine Airedale as well, which scent would be like a good scent from this brand. And she also recommended, I think it was Dafrik. Da, 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 da I don't, I can't pronounce it right, girl. But that's going to be the next one that I'm going to get. Hopefully I like this one. So the reason why this one sealed the deal is because I really, really, really like the, um, uh, Love Don't Be Shy from Killian. I love that perfume. A lot of people don't like it, but I love it. And Aaliyah's face was saying that this one reminds her so much of it, but it's not as strong. So I was like, okay, if I like Love Don't Be Shy, then I'm gonna like this. So we about to see, we about to see. I'm about to show y'all which one it is. Y'all are probably like, girl, I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> but it is Sundays. Uh, I'm excited. This better smell good. It better smell good. I hope it does. I hope it smells good. It is so cute. Now I got a smaller one because this stuff is expensive. It's very expensive. But OMG, how freaking cute is this? Please smell good. Please, please, please smell good. Does it even have the notes? 
because I would love to tell you guys the notes as I smell it because I don't know. I really don't know, girl. I really don't know. I doubt this has the notes in it. Yeah, it just tells you about the brand, but highly doubt this one has the notes on here. It doesn't. I'll have to look up the notes and then tell you guys later. I'll probably have it like a pop up on the screen, but here we go. OMG, how cute is this bottle so it is 1.6 fluid ounce and she is so cute okay I'm excited <sighs> y'all when I say I've been wanting this perfume not like this specific scent like just a perfume from this brand <laughs> I've been wanting one for so long and we finally got it yes yes okay she is spot on Leah was spot on with how this smells like I didn't even have to spray it because I can already smell it when I opened it oh my gosh she was spot on with this spot dang I already have perfume on dang it I don't want to mix it Ugh. let's spray it in here Leah was spot on it literally smells, hold on. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh. This smells better than Love Don't Be Shy. I can see why she says, oh, wow. This was well worth it. I'm so, cause girl, I would've been mad. I would've been mad mad because this is expensive i would have been so mad if i didn't like this I'm, of course i would have taken it back but wow this smells wow this smells good this smells good okay if you like love don't be shy you're gonna like this like hands down mm, it is sweet it's warm and it's fresh. Oh my gosh. Killian Love Don't Be Shy is very, very, very sweet. Now this is not as sweet as that. Now I see why Aaliyah was saying that this is a little bit more on the front. Like it, it's not as strong as Love Don't Be Shy. This is definitely a toned down version of Love, um, of Love Don't Be Shy. Oh, this smells so good, y'all. I'm so, so happy. Okay, let me take this out. I'm gonna put it on the shelf in the closet, but let me just, hold on. I'm gonna put it back in here because this whole presentation is just so cute. It is just so cute. I love, so um, I'm not gonna put it back in there, but this is nice, very nice. So I'm happy about my purchase, yeah. I'm happy about it, but yeah, um, let me clean up because I got a mess up in here. Like I said, I was filming and it just looks a hot mess up in this room. So I'm going to clean. Um, what else am I going to do? I'm going to show you guys products because I did another um, co-wash. Well, I actually co-washed it today. I didn't wash it. I did my full wash routine last Monday, but today I just co-washed my hair. Um, and I wanted to do it one more time before actually showing you guys what I do because I really wanna be more confident with showing you what I do before actually showing it. So now the next time that I um, co-wash my hair, I'll show you how, I, well, what products I use and how I did this. Um, but in the meantime, I'll actually show you guys what products I use because it's the same products, but I have a new product that I got from Amazon, which is mind blowing. So I will show you guys that, that I use for today. It's still kind of damp, but it's just a fresh, it, there, it's, it's still pretty fresh because I did it um, earlier this morning, like early, early this morning, right after I worked out. 
um, and it looks good. I like it. The puff is looking so cute. I love her. So, yas, let me clean up because I keep saying let me clean up and I have not gotten up. But, yeah, let me clean up and then I'm going to show you guys the hair products that I used. And then, um, yeah, I'll show you guys that later on this evening so y'all can at least see what I'm using on my hair. And then, since I kind of got it down pat, I will show y'all my routine in another, either a vlog. Yeah, I'm gonna show it in a vlog instead of like a video, like a regular Wednesday, Friday video. But, girl, let me clean up. I'll talk to y'all later. <sighs> Got cold, put on this super duper big robe from Instagram. I still have on that Skims robe. Y'all, I just edited the video I filmed today. Well, one of the videos I filmed today. Edit it. It's uploaded and the description is done. <laughs> so I am, and it's only Monday, y'all. It is Monday. So we're done with one video for the week. I need to edit Friday's video. I think I'm gonna edit that tomorrow so I will have anything else to do um, tomorrow. I'm gonna film, am I gonna film on Wednesday? So I need to film for the following week. I might do that. Actually, I'm not gonna might do that. I am gonna do that. I need to stop saying I might. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna film to, if I'm not gonna film tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna film on Wednesday so I can be caught up with my work. Do y'all put your computer on sleep or do you restart it or do you shut it down? I always put it on sleep because it's just faster to come back on. If you have an iMac, let me know. Maybe I don't need to do that because yeah, I need to restart my computer, honestly and truly. That's what I need to do. But we're just going to put it on sleep for now. So let's go to the bathroom. These are what I used. So, um, oh, I just used the conditioner from Monday. That's in the shower right now. I'm not just going to go get it. But um, I just used that to co-wash my hair this morning and then I um, when I got out of the shower I just dried my hair with a t-shirt I like to use t-shirts instead of a towel because with a towel it makes it super duper frizzy um, so I just kind of dried it with that and then I used this Kristen S detangling um, tonic it's quick detangling moisture replenishing softening and strengthening shine enhancing and this is for all hair types and it's fragrance free so i use that to um, help with detangling my hair and then after that i went in with my bread hair cream i love this stuff so i put this all over my hair um you know just to give it that extra extra moisture and then after that i went in with my wild growth hair oil to um, just kind of massaged it into my scalp all over my head and then that's when I start to style my hair so I put a little bit of this on my ends um, just to help with define the cur defining the curls it's the eco style gel this is the one with argan oil so I just put a little bit of it in my hand you know did this and then I just kind of raked it into the ends and then I used this brush which really really helps to make my curls pop a little bit more um, with that and then I went in with the hair it's like a uh, it's actually a wig cap I cut the wig cap because <laughs> I don't have anything else to use but I cut the end of the wig cap the elastic part of the wig cap and I just made a large rubber band that's what's holding my hair up like this and then this is the icing on the cake because this stuff is really 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 good so I picked it up off Amazon it's called the edge booster and when I say this girl my edges well my hair right here First of all, it's not hard. It's very soft, but it's laid. Like it is laid. So, so soft. 
and I like that. I don't like it when it's like super hard and crunchy like with the gel. The gel kind of makes it hard, but this made my hair really soft and I like that. This is how she looks. And I put this all on the front of my hair right here to slick it back instead of using the gel. Cause this just makes my hair really like, I don't, I don't know. I don't really like this stuff to be completely honest. Um, so I'm actually going to try out some products you guys recommended to me in my last video. I made like a little list. So I'm going to um, try to see if I can go and find those. But this is just used for the puff. And that's it. I want to explain it tonight. So I got this package from, oops. I got a package from Kapari. This is the Kapari California Glow Enzyme Scrub. This is what I'm about to try out. And then I got the um, Glow Hydrating Moisturizer. I'm not going to use this yet because I'm still working on a moisturizer. I don't really want to switch up yet, but we're going to kind of put this into my routine now since I'm out of my Tula scrub and I need to exfoliate my skin. So that's what I'm about to do. Put my skincare sleeves on. Excuse me. And we are about to wash this face. I'm gonna use the Oat Cleansing Balm from Inky List. It's my second tube. Just squirt some out. And this is another really good. Um, it's another really good cleanser. And this is the very first thing that I do to melt off the makeup. Melt off the makeup. Ah. Let me know if you guys like when I talk through my skincare routines like this or do you prefer to hear like the, you know, aesthetic music while I do my routine. Now I'll tell y'all what I like. I like watching routines when the person is talking through it like what I'm doing right now. Cause it almost feels like I'm there with them. Like it feels like we're just hanging out, you know? Sometimes I like the music, like the aesthetic music, but when I'm watching a vlog, if they do have like their skincare routine or night routine or whatever routine, if they have it in the vlog, I like when they're just, you know, talking to the camera because I feel like I'm there with them and I'm just hanging out and chilling because I like that. So, but that's, you know, not to say I don't like music all the time. Well, yeah, not to say that I don't like the music because I do like the music. Because sometimes I want to just hear music, but I like a good mix. So I'm going to rinse this off. I'm going to rinse it off. Look at my face, y'all. <laughs> Tonight I'm going to use my Curology cleanser. I'm just going to use a Curology cleanser and moisturizer tonight. And of course my treatment. Because um, I just want to use everything tonight. Just something not too harsh on the skin. And then I'm going to try that scrub out. So the thing about having these skincare sleeves, water doesn't drip down your arm. It drips on the sleeves. Let's try this. Apply the face, rub in circular motion, and rinse with warm water. 
Use two to three times a week for glowing, radiant skin. Let's see. Let's see what this is hitting on. Mmm. I like Capari's products. I'm putting it to the freaking lens so y'all can smell it. <laughs> y'all can't smell this. I wish y'all could though. Smell it, girl. It smells really fresh. I like her. Okay. It doesn't look like it's. Hold on. Hmm. We'll see. It looks like a cream. It doesn't look like a your typical scrub. Let's try her out and see. Oh, I feel the grittiness. Hmm. Really gentle. It's not too. What's the word? Abrasive. It's really nice. Mm. I like. Mm. I like how it feels. Really, really gentle. Skin feels soft. Battery's about to die, so I gotta change it. But skin is feeling soft. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna just do my normal routine, Curology Moisturizer, Curel well, treatment first, moisturizer, and then I'm gonna put on my, I ran out of my night cream that I was using, so I'm using my Coors Night, uh, Coors night Cream. So that's what I'm gonna use, and that's it. Oh, and my eye cream from Fresh Beauty. So that's my night routine, you guys. And then my lip mask before my camera cuts off. The Jason Wu bedtime lip mask. I love this stuff. All right, camera's about to die. Bye, y'all. Okay, so I went to Target earlier today, as y'all probably already saw in the um, clip, but I want to show you guys what I picked up. Um, I saw this as I am classic coconut co-wash. Since I co-wash my hair a lot, I wanted to try something else. And I also picked up a couple of products that you guys recommended to me. So one is the um, Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. So I'll let you guys know how I feel about that. And I also picked up another recommendation, which is this Camille Rose Almond J Twisting Butter. So we are going to try this out as well. And I will let you guys know my thoughts on that and I saw that Target well my Target is now carrying the nail strengthener that I told you guys about it's from Olive and June the best nail strengthener ever you guys if you're wanting your nails to be super duper strong hard they won't break they won't peel this is some good stuff they have it on their website but some of the stuff they don't have in Target, and I saw that they had, um, they actually had a good bit of these on the shelf. So I went ahead and grabbed another one of these. And I also saw that they had the nail primer, which I want to try from Olive and June. Um, I hope the lighting is okay right here. It's kind of dim, but I hope you guys can see it. But yeah, that's all I grabbed from Target. I did pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in my bathroom, put them in the cabinet that I have in the bathroom, and we will be trying these out pretty, pretty soon. putting my wig on today I French braided my hair well at least I tried to it look a hot mess and then I put on a little bit of the um, edge control that I showed y'all so I'm just gonna throw this wig cap on like so boom 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 
and I'm gonna throw my wig on because I'm going to dinner tonight and I don't want to wear the puff tonight I just want to throw on my wig my inches let me get it this is her this is already washed already conditioned she smells amazing and I'm just gonna spruce it up a little bit because she's looking a little a little you know ooh, a little bad because this band is already about to come off I'm gonna tighten it just kind of sew it down so that way she can fit secure I'm gonna use this needle and thread right here to sew it down Oh, I don't even need it. Yeah, I need to put some more thread in there. Because it's not even tight anymore. It's gotten so loose. So I just need to make sure that she is secure. You know, you know. I hate trying to thread a needle. Oop, it worked. Sometimes I have to keep going back and forth with it. But it worked this time. And this wig didn't come with this band. I got it at the um, hair store, beauty supply store. So you can purchase those separately. It came with a band, but I think I took it off because I didn't like how thin it was. I like for the bands to be this thick because I feel like it's more secure. So what I'm going to do, see how it's coming up like it's... The band is about to break off. I'm gonna kind of do it like this. Y'all can't even see what I'm doing, but I just kind of folded it some like that. And I'm just gonna sew it on here so it can be secure. All right, I got her on. She's tight. Hopefully it's not too tight. Hopefully it's not too tight. And I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. I'm not even gonna put any glue on because if she's secure enough, I probably won't even need to put on glue. Basically just put her on just like this. And then pull it down. Yeah, it's good and secure, girl. Pull the back down. I haven't worn a wig in so long. I haven't worn a wig in so long. Oh, that's kind of bulky. What's going on up there? I'm going to have to press this up here to lay it flat. See how it's kind of bulky? So I'm going to use my curler to just straight um, press it down like that. Okay, I guess that part is straight enough. Y'all look how pretty this hair is. It's so fluffy and soft. I love her. Um, let me get my curlers. I'm gonna go in there, put my makeup on real quick, and then I will press the top of my head so it can lay flat. So let's go do some makeup. I'm out of my Tula SPF, so if you guys could recommend a really good SPF that sprays on your face, let me know, because I would love to own one of those. Um, yeah, so let me know if you guys use any SPFs 
that she sprayed on her face because like if my makeup is already done and say if I forget to put on SPF I can just spray it on my face you know you know you know so yeah putting some Jason Moo lip oil on my lips okay I'm doing the same exact look that I always do and the only different thing I'm probably gonna do is use a different product but the same it's gonna look the same <laughs> so like um I'm gonna use my skin tint today I'm gonna use a different primer this one from NARS I've actually been using this quite a bit you guys I use this um well obviously you guys saw it in my get ready with me that I already posted on my channel recently and I also wore well I wore it that entire day and then the next day I did my makeup I wore this and no complaints at all no complaints with this primer it kept my t-zone like my oils in check <laughs> so no complaints with this but yeah I'm just gonna use the lip bar skin tint today and I'm probably gonna try to get the color um the Revlon color stay foundation out the pump like it's not pumping anymore that's just how much I've been using it so I'll probably have to take the pump off and just kind of scrape it but we're about to empty this out um everything else is gonna be honestly the same because i this is my go-to look it's easy it's quick um i'm not gonna really wear eyeshadow like that i mean I, if i do i'm just gonna use a color out of my dior palette it's probably gonna be this one right here in the middle that brown color right there just put it all over the lid and i'm good to go and that's it girl but yeah um let me know your favorite spf that comes in a spray bottle because i want to try it out this is the charlotte tilbury magic cream i'm just putting it on my face yeah i want to try out a new spf that's in a spray bottle and that's good that's you know that's really good for your skin so let me know let me know in the comments down below but in the meantime, I'm just going to take my Super Goop SPF today. This is SPF 40 and put her on the skin. I've seen some people use a beauty sponge, like if they are out and need to retouch up their face with SPF, they'll put some on a beauty sponge and just kind of tap it all over the face. But I don't want to mess up my makeup if I do that. So that's why I want to try out like a SPF and a spray bottle. I know Sunbum, did I say that right? Sun, Sunbum, I know they have one. Um, I think Supergoop has one. I think they do. Now that I think about it, they do have one. Have y'all tried it though? Should I get it? Let me know. Let me know. I'm gonna take the NARS primer yeah this tutorial like this is not even a tutorial you guys y'all I have this same exact look on my channel so I'm doing the same 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 thing y'all this Charlotte Tilbury lip liner is everything it's in the shade um, what is it foxy brown and I'm just putting it on my lips so i was going back and forth with what i wanted to wear and since it's hot outside i just threw on some black shorts and this white hold on i can't even talk and do this at the same time um and this white tank that i got from where did i get this from zara i'm gonna use this lipstick revolution pro in the shade latte it's my favorite and that's it here's the hair I'll give you guys a little OOTD so these are the shorts that I got from boohoo and they're comfortable and these are the shoes I'm gonna wear that I got from Amazon and then I'm carrying my brand new baby my little chanel -y. she is so cute so cute. So, yeah, let's go ahead and head out. <laughs> Don't judge. Bye.